Hello friends, today I am going to discuss the determination of normalized impedance using Smith chart. Let us determine the normalized impedance using Smith chart. For example, let us plot the normalized impedance 1 plus iota 1 using Smith chart. So right hand side you are seeing the Smith chart. The point 1 plus iota 1 we want to plot this point 1 plus iota 1 on the Smith chart. So 1 is the real part and this is our imaginary part. So this part will be represented on the R circles that is the resistance circles and this part will be represented on the X circle that is rectangle circle. And last time I have told you that these are ours, these are ours R circles. These are our R circles and these are our X circles. These arcs are our X circles. So we will look for the one R circle. So here you can see that this is the one R circle. So one is marked here and this is our one R circle. And then we will look for the one X circle. So here you can see that this is our one X circle. Then we will see that that the point one plus iota one will be the intersection of normalized resistance R equals to one circle and normalized rectance X equals to one circle. That is we, we will look for the point where these two circles will intersect with each other. So this is the point where these two circles are intersecting with each other. So it will be plotted above the horizontal axis because of the positive reactance that is plus iota 1. It is represented as point P. It is represented as point P or in other words point P represents 1 plus iota 1 normalized impedance on Smith chart. Uh, so I will discuss it in further the point 1 plus iota 1 will be the intersection of normalized resistance R equals to one circle and normalized reactance X equals to one circle. It will be plotted above the horizontal axis because of positive reactance that is plus iota 1. It is represented as point P or in other words point P represents 1 plus iota 1 normalized impedance on Smith chart. So where is the point P? Here is the point P. That is intersection of one R circle and intersection of one R circle and one X circle. Now let us try to understand with another example. That is we want to plot the normalized impedance of 2 minus iota 1. So 2 minus iota 1 this is now in this case we will have two R circle and now we will have minus iota 1 X circle. So where is the two R circle? So here is the two R circle and here is the minus iota 1 because it is minus. So minus reactance will be below the below the horizontal line so these all these all are these all are minus x so it will be plotted below the horizontal axis because of negative reactance that is minus iota 1 it is represented as point q or in other words point q represents 2 minus iota 1 normalized impedance on smith chart so this is our point Q that is the intersection of two circle with the minus iota one circle. So I will repeat it again the point two minus iota one will be the intersection of normalized resistance R equals two circle and normalized reactance X equals to minus one circle. It will be plotted below the horizontal axis because of negative reactance that is minus iota 1. 
it is represented as point q or in other words point q represents 2 minus iota 1 that is normalized impedance on smith chart so this is the point q for the case 2 minus iota 1 and this is the point p for the case 1 plus iota 1 so my dear friends i hope that you will be able to plot the normalized impedance on smith chart so for further reference please search our website venuscience.com please subscribe and like our channel thank you thanks a lot